Okay, so this, I'm going to show you like what parts of the squid are on the squid, I guess. Um, so that's, these two are the fins, and then this is the mantle, this big thing. And then um, this is the siphon, and then right here is the head, and then the long tentacles are the, or the, the long things are the tentacles, and then the short ones are the arms. And then now I'm going to show you how to remove um, the beak. So first you want to remove the tentacles and sort out like that, and kind of, it helps to tilt it up some. And then the black thing right there is the beak. And so you kind of, it helps to spread, uh, here I'll grab the scissors. And sometimes when they're dead, they sort of, their muscles clench, and so it's sort of hard to get in there to get it out. So you make wide cuts on both sides. And it's a lot easier to get it. And then you can take your forceps, it's a lot easier to grab. And then grab the first black part, and it'll come out in two pieces. So there's the first one. And then you grab the second one and pull the second one out. And then that's the nerve, right? Or no, it's a tendon? Or tendon. Tendon, yeah. yeah. Okay, that's how. Um, so I'm going to be taking out the brain. Um, so you have to take out the beak first because it comes out of the mouth. And so you just take and take away the tentacles and the arms. And then you squeeze it. And so you see it starts coming out and then you start squeezing it like a pimple and it starts to come out even more. And then eventually it'll get far enough that you can just take it out with your hands. And then you can see the nerve that comes out and then there's the brain. Good. <laughs> so this is the squid and um, I'm going to be cutting into it to show you like the insides. Um, this is the back because it's um, black and it's darker and then the front is lighter and when you cut into it you want to put it on its back so the dark side down and then you grab your scissors and you lift up this part and you don't want to cut too deep because it'll cut all the insides out and guts and stuff. And so you just make a cut, making sure that it's not too far down. And then you have to go all the way to the end. Just like that. And then you open it and you just spread the edges. Just like that. Um, so this is all the organs. This is the liver, the yellow-white thing in the middle. And then these are the gills. They look like f black feathers, black wet feathers. And then the silver thing right here is the ink sac in the middle by the liver. Um, you can tell that this is a boy squid because this is the gonad and it's a milky white Color. Color. <laughs> and then the female. Okay, so this you can tell this is a female because these are the eggs. The eggs are jelly-like and they're clear. They're a jelly-like substance, kind of. And then this is the nidamental gland, <laughs> which um, is different from the males because the males don't have that gland. So I am doing the pen on the squid and what you do is you cut up here, then you put two fingers on the mantle, and then you pull on it. And the pen feels really like plastic, kind of like a clear, like, I don't know, plastic. Okay, What's well, it's made of cartilage. Yeah. And why do they call it a pen? Because it looks like uh, ink. Okay, Luke? So I'm going to write with the ink from the ink pen and then the pen. And if that doesn't work, what else can you use? You can just use the ink sack and... You can use the probe. Yeah. The that probe white, white handled thing right there. Dip that in the ink.
It's like no ink left. Kind of like a pen. Okay. This is the ink sack, and I'm gonna pull it out. How can you tell it's the ink sack? What does it look like? It's silvery, and it's right in the very middle. And how did you get it out? What did you do? Uh, I lifted it with the forceps and cut it with the scissors. Okay. Good. Luke, will you show us how? Okay, so we're going to take the lens out of the eyes, which is right there. And there's two eyes, but I think we can, I think we're just going to show one. So you just cut right in the center of the eye with your scissors. Big or small? Uh, a smaller cut. I mean, like, it's not supposed to be like huge because mm. otherwise everything will spill out. And then you take your forceps, and when you do this, you might you you want to have it the eye facing up at you. And then you kind of do that, like you hold a little bit. But if you need to, you can cut it again. If you didn't make a big enough cut. So you want to cut it enough that liquid's already coming out before you squeeze it, right? Yeah. Okay, so right there. So now liquid's pouring out, so that's a sign that you cut into it. So then the lens, which we're gonna take out, is a very, it's like a small ball almost. So, so you kinda, you can kinda feel it actually. So let's get that out. How come you can feel it, is it hard? Yeah, it's a hard little ball. Okay. And so I just pulled out the eyeball, which mm. is right there. And then the lens is in here. So then the lens is right there. It's a very small little ball. And that is how you extract the lens from the eye.